What's up guys, Edit here, and today I decided to start a full coding project over multiple parts uh, of an interesting topic I came across while browsing the web. I don't know, it's been uh, quite a while, probably a month ago, something like that. But I really wanted to do this. I was thinking of doing this in the live stream, but unfortunately I don't have the time to do it on the live stream, like say one hour straight or two hours straight at the moment so I can produce some videos time after time um, and I didn't want to make a short live stream because I mean too short is not really good anyways so here is the project um, I have came across this website a link will be in the description where someone uh, talks about the back uh, best practice for a good login a PHP login. So I'm gonna first read uh, what he says uh, When the user successfully logs in with remember me checked a login cookie is issued in addition to the standard session management cookie the login cookie contains the user's name so username uh, a serious identifier and token the series and token are unguessable random numbers from a suitably large space. All three are stored together in a database table. So this is important. They are not just uh, issued to the user into his browser, but are also stored in the database. Um, yeah, When a non-logged-in user visits the site and presents a login cookie, the username and series and token are looked up in the database. If the triplet is present, the user is considered authenticated, the used token is removed from the database, a new token is generated, uh, stored in the database with the username and the password series identifier, and a new login containing all three is issued to the user. If the username and series are present but not the token does not match, uh, a theft is assumed. So I'll be skipping this uh, want warning thing um, if the username and series are not present the login cookie is ignored so we basically have three components this is the username series and token and as I understand the token and series are unguessable random numbers so I'm gonna be focusing on this uh, topic of giving out free things to authenticate on the website and I am gonna be starting with uh, yeah doing the database so local host gonna go PHP my admin that works oh nice there we go so I'm gonna create a new one it's gonna be called secure login create a table name users let's say for it first I don't know yet so we have an ID we have I'm gonna call it user ID so this will be my prefix for these so later on managing will be easier now I don't know what's like the proper way for PHP and so on because I didn't learn it but I can work with it and we'll be using PDO to access the database so it will be quite safe so here we have the user 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 name the user password and the user don't even know let's say his status like is he active or inactive so state of will be let's say int maybe we have multiple this will be varchar length of 20 this will be text uh, no let's put a varchar as well um, will be 20 gonna leave this uh, it will be primary and auto incremented gonna save this uh, gonna create 
a new table, call it session sessions. So here we have an I sessions ID sessions token sessions Siri. Now let's call it serial. And let's put session date date. I'm gonna do this one as varchar. I don't like the date, um, the standard PHP date thing, uh, the standard MySQL date thing. I like, pref I prefer varchar. So eight plus two ten serial. Let's say it will be thirty two characters, thirty two, and this one leave it out. Primary AI. Doesn't make sense if it's primary, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. But anyways, okay. Then we have this. Now is that all? Sessions users. Yeah, I think that's all right. So I'm gonna be starting off with creating my config PHP file. So here I will be using PDO, so uh, because it's safer, the other stuff is deprecated. So I'm gonna be using that one. So first of all, I don't know if it's uh, set or not, but I will be doing any set two things. The first one is display errors to one. The second one will be display startup errors set to one as well. And config will always be imported to every other PHP file I have. So this is the basically PDO I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be calling it um, dbh. Depending where you put this, I'm using XAM, so it's on my local machine. So database name. Uh, Safe, secure login is that what I called it? Secure login, right? And now I can go my username root. I don't think it has a password. Uh, yeah, you could put this into like make variables and put them in here, but I mean you can do it how you want it to be do uh, to be done. Um, yeah, so this is it. Now I'm gonna be creating my index file, new file index.php, php, um, yeah, of course include, well, I don't know if I should put it in the header. I'm gonna include one's header first. I don't have it done yet, but header PHP. Um, here we go. Now the HTML will probably be a bit bad and ugly and all that stuff, all the ugly stuff, but it's perfectly fine with me, I'd say. Oh, I don't need this here. I don't need none of these here. This will go uh, in my footer. That stuff will close it up. And in here I will be checking for login state so I know what to display. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, right, if you're good then you also create users for this but right here nobody's gonna hack it so I'm gonna use root is it root? I'm sure it's root I can try making an entry here MSQL this is user user ID is quite bad 
I think I should rename it. So my username is admin. My password is pass. Now let's put it admin as well. My status is one for active. To go. Okay. Doesn't like something. Uh, status was int, right? Was int. There we go. Uh, yeah, we have this now. Okay, so we can check if uh, the thing works here. So I'm gonna do a statement is equal to dbh prepare and uh, create some query select. Config uh, create a new file header.php php include ones config.php just put it like this maybe I can put HTML head and my beginning of the body so now I should be able to run this somehow okay undefined constant user username I did a shitty job there okay let's see seven include one's footer okay that's perfectly fine there we go admin admin um yeah because we don't have footer I'm gonna create it footer PHP there we go now the errors are gone we have admin we perfectly fine uh, reached the content of my database so yeah we're pretty much done no just kidding uh, what we need now is basically a login interface um, I want to tender it so I'm going to create a few things which is section with the class of parent and inside the section I have a div with the class of child there we go and in here we want to decide whether we are logged in and display like something like wel welcome username or we want to display the login so what I'm going to do is create a new file which is login.php and this login.php will contain um, my will contain my login stuff but first I'm gonna be working on the header before I do uh, my login here because my header also needs some stuff which is for example a title because I don't work with titles even this is just like such a project secure login and of course I need my style sheet link style sheet will be style.css where I put some of my styles there so it looks a little bit nicer and that's pretty much it for the head I don't need anything else we have my config we'll also include my functions class which I'll create functions.php and I'm also gonna create a header tag with my div which is centered and my div which is centered will cr uh, will contain an image can I do yeah I did the class thing so that, yeah so there we go image slash header dot jpeg don't need alt okay so this is about its beauty okay so login will be a separate page which means I will create a, another or I will include another header okay 
and of course I will create another section of the parent class and another div of the child class. And here I will put my PHP stuff inside. Just make a little bit of space. So if um, I'm logged in, check login state. This is what I will call it. Oh yeah, let's put it this way. If I'm not logged in, then I will display the login form. So yeah, I need already the check login state uh, function. So let's jump into that one first. So I'll be making here a class of functions. I'll call it func and put my uh, functions in here. So public static function check login state and it will take in my dbh, my pdo thingy so I don't have to recreate it always uh, in other time so first I'll check if my stuff is set so that means my cookie and my uh, sessions so very simple by the way this is because uh, multiple sessions will give errors and that's not a beautiful thing so I need to see if the session has already started session ID or Um, my cookie which will contain the session PHP session ID if the session already started PHP session ID so if it does not then we start a session Once again, this is because of errors. And next, we can look at if our cookies are set. Token. Now, the trick is we put token not just inside the database, but also into the cookies and the serial as well. And now we could also check uh, if the session is up and, uh, yeah. But we already do it here, so there is no no demand to do so, really. Just the first time, uh, we should not be starting a session, and I'm going to see how long I've been recording, 29 minutes. Um, we, do not, we do not want to start it if it's already running, because that shows an error, and I'll show you in a sec. So this is... Um, the part of the code when we already have the token so we have already been registered and um, have all that stuff but we are not locked in at the time so we will be auto locked in if our stuff is matching so that means we are getting the ID We are getting the token We are getting the serial uh, <laughs> There we go Serial And we will try to gather it from the database. 